Hi everyone, welcome to Simplicity TV. I am Jen Pike, your host, and this is the place to be to learn how to create more simplicity and more ease in all that you do. So this week we are talking about seasonal weight gain. This is something that happens every year in my industry where I get emails from clients that are starting to panic and freak out, that they're starting to gain a few pounds now that we're into the cooler months of the year and there is much more social that's happening, right? We are at that time where we're coming into the Christmas holiday season, so there's parties that's happening and people are baking yummy, delicious things and we tend to get busier, so we're grabbing more foods that are quick and that are on the go. So I'm gonna give you a couple of tips to help to keep not only your body in check, but to help to keep your energy in check and in turn help to keep your weight in check as well. So my first tip would be this, you need to be prepared. When life gets busier, it's really easy just to start to let the things like the food planning and the food prepping go, but it's honestly gonna be one of the most important things that you can do for yourself so that you set yourself up for success and you set yourself up for energy and optimal digestion throughout the day as well too. So if you go into your kitchen right now and you look in the cupboards and all you have is pasta and rice and your grains and beans and those types of things, or you look in the fridge and in the fridge all you have is yogurt and cheese and then and you've got crackers in the cupboard and oatmeal and cereals and all of that, those are gonna be the things that you tend to go to because they're there, they're quick and they're easy. But there's no color in any of those things, which means that there's no vitality, there's none of the great micronutrients, the vitamins, the minerals that you need or any of the antioxidants. And that is really the juice for your cells. That's what's gonna wake you up and keep you not just energized, but also help to curb your cravings throughout the day. So you still need to be making sure that you're purchasing lots lots of produce, more vegetables than fruit. I know that's challenging sometimes because the fruit is sweet, so it's really easy to get in but majority of your life force foods are gonna come from your greens, from your root vegetables. This is a great time of year. The harvest has happened now. Root vegetables, sweet potatoes, rutabaga, parsnips, the variety of squash that are out there, right? You've got acorn squash and butternut squash and spaghetti squash. There's so much variety, but we tend to just kind of walk past those things because we're not really too sure how to prepare them. Roast them, bake them. It's the easiest thing that you can do. Um, I'll talk to you a little bit about some different recipe suggestions in a moment. Um, but those are the types of things you wanna get in. Still have your salads, but add some lean sources of protein on there. You can get the carbohydrates in. I am definitely not the person that's gonna tell you I want you to cut your carbohydrates out. But if you wake up in the morning and you have a bagel or toast or oatmeal for breakfast, and then you're having a granola bar for a snack, and then you're having a sandwich or leftover pasta for lunch, and then you're having cheese and crackers in the afternoon, or a cookie, and then you're having pasta for dinner, or a rice dish, or a noodle dish, or something like that, and then you're having another little cookie or a sweet at night, that's a pretty decadent day full of a lot of starches that are gonna break down into sugar in your body. And that's how you gain weight. Insulin is your fat storing hormone. So if one of your goals is to either maintain your weight or continue on this journey of losing weight, you've got to make sure you're stabilizing that blood sugar. And you can see, I mean, I'm just kind of painting the picture over one day. If that's how you're living your everyday, it's really easy over time for that weight just to start to creep on. The second thing that I would say to you is you have to exercise. I know it can be hard when it gets colder outside. If you're a walker, keep your walks up. If you have pets, use them as your opportunity to get outside more often. Join a new fitness class. There's great classes happening all the time in your community. You can go and do a boot camp class. You could do a Zumba class. Go and join a yoga studio. I mean, most studios now, you can join 30 days for $30 or a month unlimited for $40. That's such a small investment for a massive gift that you can give to your body. So ladies, here's the thing with exercise, and I'll do a whole nother video on this you need to be exercising a minimum of four to five days a week. This whole two to three times a week thing, I'm telling you it's not gonna get you to your goals. It's, it's just not going to get you to your goals. Four to five times a week. And if you're choosing cardio all the time, you're wasting your time. 
Get out for the walk and get your fresh air and your vitamin D and enjoy the time with your friends or with your pet, but you need to do load bearing exercise. We're gonna do a whole video just on that, but please make sure over these months you are exercising four to five times a week. If you actually scroll around on our YouTube channel, you'll see there's a couple of different short sequences that I've put together. Do some of those in a day, just get your body moving. And the third thing is to make sure that you are not gaining weight throughout the holiday seasons is you need to get your rest. When we're busier, when we have more events to attend, when there's hockey tournaments going on, there's competitions that are happening, life is moving around us, what is the one thing we sacrifice? It's our sleep. We stay up later to get the things done that we didn't get done in the day, and we wake up earlier to get the things done that we didn't get done the night before. And listen, I have to do it sometimes too. The last couple of days, I've been up at 4.30 in the morning, hustling my high knee off to try and get some work done, but that's not my norm. And in doing that, I've been trying to get to bed a whole lot earlier. And it's hard. I literally have to say to my husband, you need to like treat me like one of the kids and be like, Jen, get your pajamas on and you need to go upstairs and get into bed because you've got to get up early tomorrow. So you just have to do what you have to do to make sure you're taking care of yourself. And if you follow these steps, you're also going to boost your immune system naturally as well. So you are going to make sure you have color and a lot of variety in your fridge and in your pantry. You are going to make sure that you are exercising and you're going to make sure you are getting sleep. And I promise you, if you do those three simple things consistently, you're not going to see this big amount of weight come on and then feel like when spring hits that now you have to undo all of the indulgence or that kind of hibernation over those winter months. And two extra little bonus tips I'm gonna give you. My book, The Simplicity Project, if you don't already have it, 70 recipes in here, three sample meal plans, workout plans, and direct links to the workout videos. So this is gonna be a great investment and you can get it right off the website at jenpike.com, get it ordered, delivered straight to your home. You're gonna have so many fresh ideas and inspiration, plus the education behind why you are eating what you're eating and why you're moving exactly how you're moving. So the Simplicity Project is one. And then I have to share this book from one of my colleagues that I absolutely love. Um, she is fabulous, uh, Megan Telpner. This is her newest book, The Undiet Cookbook. It is 130 recipes that are all gluten-free. It is delicious. Uh, I don't even know if the camera will do some of these pictures justice, but it's one of those books where as you start to flip through, you are drooling um, on the pages of the book and already starting to get, like look at this delicious takeaway taco salad. Yum, yum, yum. And I can tell you, my daughter Emerson and I, who is nine, we're doing a 150 day journey. So we're doing the entire cookbook, 130 recipes in 150 days um, is what we're going through. And this was her idea. She got the book. She thought it was so pretty, mommy. I love it. Let's cook every single recipe in it. And I was like, awesome. We've already done every single recipe in mommy's book. So let's start to do Megan's book. So this definitely gets a, uh, you know, a high five and two thumbs up for me. So this is a fantastic book and so is Oshi Glows. Those would be my top ones for you to grab. Um, and those are my tips for you today. So it's gorgeous weather out right now. Get yourself outside, start your activity and your big inspiration towards eating better and feeling better right now. See you later, have an awesome day.